in the most exciting learning environment, I think it's a makerspace. I think it's truly a multimodal makerspace where it's just years ago we ta used to talk about cognitive construction zones where you go in, you're curious, the, all the tools are there and you can just make meaning for yourself. And that's one of the things we're trying to provide with mini makerspaces, not, not complicated 3D printers, because there's really nothing more boring than watching a 3D printer print. The actual exciting part of it is the software when you're designing what it is you want to print. But it's equally fabulous when you're just gluing cardboard together and you're, you're cutting things and things you know, that you've imagined in your head in two dimensions come alive in three dimensions or you start making ergonomic furniture out of cardboard that addresses the needs of a special ed kid who, who needs it as a physical support or an ergonomic piece. And so those are the things that I think are excited learning environments where the tools are there, the stuff is there. It's sort of like Stanford's D school, you know, but it's available to everybody. And it's using recycled materials and found materials. And it just allows you to think in two dimensions and three dimensions and move space and thinking around. And I don't know, I get pretty wound up about it, but it's pretty thrilling when you go in with an idea and it becomes something. And then there it is, like Eisner says, the minute it's tangible, somebody else can comment on it. And then you can make that thing and start to make that thing better. And that to me is a pretty exciting learning environment.